Guys, Pila and Lona, Mr. Lenza Air, Barakana Hospital, like Tyler Kakul, 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 especially Kuban to Maka and the Lai Elokshin, see experience are many challenges, as Bergela, as a Kinasi Pirana now, Jabang and Abona and Jay, Bengala Emma Fritchi, so see experience are inking my wood sometimes to Nama Fritch, Sewa, Guele, Sena Sako, Nuti, Abandoli, to Asari, to Lela, and the Puna of Tuna Sabadega. See, I tell a guys. Zamenu Guti is a senator, is a Zanja, Masasa is a senator, is a Zanja, 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 is a The second wave that we are seeing now is much worse than the first time. Our workload has increased significantly. We are struggling to find beds for patients and we have very, very sick patients. This COVID that is affecting the people now is no longer limited to age 60 and as we were told before. It's no longer depending on, on comorbidities like hypertension, diabetes, asthma and epilepsy. There are a lot more younger patients that are coming in that are very ill. Um, the last thing that we've noticed is that patients are coming in more critically ill, requiring a lot more intervention, requiring a, a lot more resuscitation as the first point of call. In this ward, we have the bed capacity of 37 uh, beds, but because of the shortage of staff, we cannot take up to that number of patients. We are only uh, allowed to take up to 8 to 10 IC uh, patients. We are overwhelmed, we are overworked, we've got lots of patients now who are demanding high quality patient care and with the resources that we are having we are not able to pull through. We go up and down the hospital trying to, to fight this spread of this virus, but uh, people won't listen to what they have been told. They think that uh, the president is stopping them from having fun while he's trying to protect their own lives. This is uh, the pandemic that we are facing nationwide and as the whole world. This is not just happening here in South Africa only, but it's happening all over the globe. Trauma <laughs> Because I have a few days before this patient entered our hospital, he must have been out there at his home mixing with neighbors, family, friends. He did the lonely, long walk down the COVID corridor. And the only people that were there for him were healthcare workers. And if we do not protect them by interrupting the spread of COVID, 
we will not have anybody to accompany us on that long walk along the COVID journey.